Hey y'all, here is what is on my mind this morning. How much of doing the things we really don't want to do it takes to be able to do the things that we want most. I'm out on my walk this morning and I kind of didn't want to do it, to be honest. I mean, I love my walks and I know that my daily walks are the reason that I'm healthy and I can do a lot of things. Still, I kind of didn't want to do it. As I think about my mom in her late seventies um, and until she passed away at 80, she wasn't really able to go on walks anymore. And it's because she didn't go on walks when she didn't feel like it, right? So I want to be able to go on walks late into my eighties and do the things I wanna do. And it requires me to do the things today sometimes I don't want to. Same thing in my speaking career. I love getting on the stage and delivering keynotes and I love delivering workshops and I don't love the prospecting, you know, cold calls and direct messages and submitting calls for speakers. I also don't really love the practice, but you know what? To be able to do the thing I love doing, it requires me to do those things I'm not that crazy about. So if there's something in your life that you love, that you're not doing enough of, think about what are the things related to that that you don't love that you might be avoiding. Spend a little bit more time doing those things and you'll be doing more of the things that you love too.